The philosopher Albert Schweitzer said success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful. In our ongoing look at happiness, we're focusing today on how to be happy at work. Join me now as Liz Janelle, a life coach who helps people make their work life happier. And we went into the streets to talk to people about what they felt on a number of different issues with regard to happiness. Um, and uh, anyway, here's what here's some of what they had to say. Being happy at work would be finding a job that I really loved and I liked to go to every day. I am retired. I did teach at Queens. I love the kids. And what makes you happy is when they really respond and they really learn what you're talking about and, and it makes sense to them and they enjoy it. That's that's really happiness. Um, what makes you happy? Um, I, I, being appreciated, I guess. Yeah, being appreciated. How, how important is that element of it that you feel like you're having an impact with what you do? My experience has been that people feel most fulfilled when they feel appreciated, when they feel they make a difference and when they find a career that's in line with their values. And then and when they're at work and getting along with all other people is another element altogether. That's we... very important. They did a study where one of the key elements was to have a, a, a best friend at yeah. work. Yeah. And I think here is a great environment. I was talking with a makeup artist telling me how <laughs> happy they were because they had such good time laughing together and feeling like really at, 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 as a team. Well, and, and it does make a difference in terms of productivity. Here's what some folks had to say about coworkers and the import. Make you happy at work. Um, good coworkers. Working with my best friend Ginny makes me happy. The people that I work with, if they're happy, it just rubs on each other, you know, and it's motivation, I guess. And and when we're doing well on the project, we got momentum. And you see everyone coming in early and leaving late just because for their own will and just trying hard. That makes me really happy. No Friends. Yes, yeah. there's a good one. Definitely. With my gals <laughs> here and a uh, good cup of coffee. <laughs> And that's exactly what you were saying. I mean, some people that go, one gentleman even said he, with his working with his best friend, because I would think, I mean, as happiness could be infectious when you're in an environment where people are pleased to be there, that it could have the opposite effect. If, if you're working with people who don't want to be there, it could bring the productivity right down. It's the bad apple that, that spoils everything else. Yes. Um, it's interesting because my background was a, as a chiropractor. And the reason I became a life coach was because I saw how people who were fulfilled had so much more vitality. Yeah. And the work environment, working in a place where people had energy, made all the difference. And if they work with people that were sucking the energy, the life out of them, it was having the total opposite effect. Well, we also went to the street and we asked people about their bosses or the role Being of their bosses. <laughs> Being productive, <laughs> not being yelled at. <laughs> and what makes you happy at work? Uh, when the boss leaves. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, yes. <laughs> How important is it that you're going to work for someone that, that ha helps you be happy in your position? Often we look at the boss as the boss, and there's often like a figure like it's mom or dad, and yeah. we think, what can I get from mom or dad, not what can I give to mom and dad, and our boss are just human being, and they're trying to do a good job, and often they have responsibility and fear and stress, and people who feel resented don't come across as nicely as somebody that feels supported. So supporting the boss, even though the boss might be difficult, can turn around yeah. the dynamics at work. Well, and a lot of times when they're not having, maybe people aren't having a good day, they might dream about winning the lottery so that they could one day quit or whatever and get out of there. And this, like, I guess the question being is, you know, can you buy a little bit of happiness at work? And here's what some of the folks had to say. What makes you happy? Success and money. What makes you happy at work? Um... Paycheck. <laughs> Not surprising that that's going to be you know important to people. Obviously, people want to get paid, and they want to get paid as much as they think that they're worth, and maybe even more. But I find that money is not really, it's, it's important, these people were younger, but if you've been in the workforce for a long time, having good money is important, but it's not the number one reason people will be happy at work. When you're talking to people about the work environment, and, and at what point, how do, you, how do you advise them to say that, that maybe they are in the wrong environment, that maybe they should make a choice or a decision or change? It always depends on people's value. Some people's value is security, so they will want to stay no matter what. And if security is important, then I show them ways of finding the big picture, what they're getting. So they can start looking at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. Right. And if they cannot stay there anymore, then I encourage them to create a bridge. 
I have a beautiful woman that came to see me. She's 65 years old right now. She's been doing the same thing for 35 years. And she figures she'll have to work for the rest of her days. And she wants to be inspired. So she, we're working together right now to create a bridge. So at that 65, she can make a career transition because she decided that's what she wanted and needed for herself. And sometimes you just need that person to talk to to get over to, to make that bridge and make that happen. Because fear, I think, is the only block between us and a great career or our dreams of anything is fear. So by dissolving fear, you can make anything happen. Happiness equals success. Yes. And um, you just don't want to end up like our friend that we show the video of from time to time here on Canada AM, who's not very happy at his work. <laughs> and we're doing this because this is our producer's favorite piece of video. He had to get this in again. You don't want to end up like that. Lee's great tips. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we want to know your thoughts on our question today. Are you happy at work or are you this guy? Log on to canadam.ctv.ca to cast your vote.